Okay, we got him a bit. I might be able to kill him here. Hold on. Maybe? We got him! We got him! Yes! I need to heal bad. Heal! Nice. Let's take out this guy. Okay, so last week I ran the ouching with lasers. This week I'm going to be running the bulwark. And I can't even remember when last I ran this, but I think it was probably during a dream hangers video. And if I recall correctly, it didn't really survive for very long. So I am kind of curious about this build. Um, but I did see this one comment from Corrupt uh, who said the Bulwark with Avengers and Triple Fortifiers uh, seems to be working really well for them, especially in the current meta with all the Harpoon weapons. Um, so I am kind of curious about this uh, to see if it actually works. If you're wondering what the Fortifier does, uh, basically it's going to strengthen the Aegis Shield and also the physical shield uh, of the Bulwark. Uh, it is the ultimate uh, module, I would say, for this uh, bot. Uh, because both shields kind of benefit from it. And yeah, I'm really kind of curious to see how this is going to go. So we do have the beacon here. Uh, we have the following pilot skills. Now, I only have one of these shield skills. We have energy shield expert. There is also, um, I think, crazy electrician and physical shield expert. Okay, so I didn't use those. Uh, you can see here. Um, instead, I have speed shooter and sharpshooter uh, because of the Avenger weapons. So we're going to be running a game. And then I'm going to be switching out uh, these weapons uh, for the Redeemers and probably using the other two uh, shield skills uh, just to kind of see how, you know, the Bulwark does. Um, I've already played a couple of games. I've had to kind of tailor a few things. Okay, I'm trying to take out this uh, Skyros here. We're doing actually decent damage to him. Oh, jeez. I didn't even see these guys on the right side. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to my physical shield now so that my Aegis shield regenerates. And then I'm going to move over to this uh, right side. We need to get another beacon quickly. So I've been playing Domination Mode because I find this build doesn't really do that well um, in Beacon Rush. I am kind of curious to see how it does with the Redeemers because I think that might help quite a bit. Okay, so my Aegis shield is now fully charged up. I haven't activated it yet, though. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's do this. And maybe I can do that. I am hitting this guy. You can see my crosshair is going red, so it is hitting him. Um, the only thing is, he can bust through my Aegis shield and my physical shield. Okay, I wonder if I can move over to this side. Maybe get him down to his last stand, perhaps. Last stand has been triggered. No, it hasn't been triggered. It was close to being triggered. Oh, Jesus. Two of them here. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, we got him a bit. I might be able to kill him here. Hold on. Maybe? We got him! We got him! Yes! Even though I died to the other Reaper, the Crisis Reaper, we managed to take out a Crisis Reaper with it. Okay, let me drop in next with the shell. This might be a short game, though. So we did sort of decent damage, but I don't know. I, I don't think I would use um, Avengers on there. Very, very tricky build. At least in Champion League, it's very hard to pull that off, I think. This guy's down to his last stand. Whoa, <laughs> he blasted me backwards. We're in this spawn now. This, uh, this might... Oh, no, it didn't. He's gonna go in a flight. No, he didn't. He didn't go in a flight. He should have. I think he still had his ability, too. I might be able to get this Imugi. We got him. Nice. Let's go after this nether.
man the reload of these uh these weapons you know what it has really nice burst damage but when you fired all your rockets the reload time of the uh the ice rockets takes quite a while okay so red team has dropped in with a luchador Try to maybe uh kind of get that guy. Ooh, they all shot into my shield. They're still shooting into the shield. This poor Fenrir is like, guys, why do you shoot his shield? Don't you know better? Apparently they don't. But keep shooting anyways. Uh-oh. Oh no, we have a hey check, we got a Lancelot. Protect the Lancelot. Man, I got hang up on this wall here. Oh jeez, we didn't even break his shield. Uh. There we go. I'm gonna try to see if I can perhaps get another beacon here. We got the center. <laughs> they have a Fenrir running around. I think he's gonna move into center here. Actually, the Rook might too. I'm gonna have my ability soon. Ooh, you know what? I think this guy's using the Thor Mothership because I noticed he was shooting through my shield. Which was unusual because he didn't have Shield Breaker, which means he probably has um, the Thor Mothership. Let's try to get this guy. Oh my gosh, his hell. Got him. I need to use a heal. We need to get another beacon quickly, actually. I think I should push the right side. Uh, this guy's gonna get me. Um, we still have... Still have quite a few bots here. Wait, what is that guy running? Is that a behemoth? Flame on. Ooh. That guy's getting uh, kind of roasted there. Getting a little bit toasty. <laughs> we locked him down again, but I think we should... Uh, we should go for a center, this guy here. We should go for all their beacons. You know what? I think we might have seen to here. When this uh, Miramets drops, he's going to be in a lot of trouble. Okay, so we, we got rid of him. They still have that Skyros, though. Maybe I can lock this guy. There we go. I've actually been trying out this build. I've been really liking this, um, this Spectre build. If you guys want to see more of this build, let me know in the comment section. I've been uh, quite enjoying it, actually. Like, once I lock a player down, the amount of damage you do with these ignites, is, it's, it's pretty good. Like, okay, wait. Let's see if we can get the Skyros before the game ends. I don't know. No, it's 5 cap. I was hoping I could showcase that. But yeah, this build has been a lot of fun to play. Okay, so we obviously didn't survive very long <laughs> with, the, uh, with the Bulwark. So uh, this is how we did. Um, so we have redeemers on this build, but I also have a last stand and a nuclear amp on this thing. I'm uh, kind of deciding how I'm going to play this here because it is kind of tricky. Okay, so those guys have, um, you know, rockets. So I got to be careful of that. Now let's move this way. We need to get um, this guy behind me still. Oh, jeez, I didn't even see these guys that were right here. Okay, let me just move around the corner. I'm going to activate my physical shield. There we go. Another guy on my left flank. i got to be careful of him. Let's put up my shield. There's someone behind me. Hmm. 
I'm just gonna charge up my um, my Aegis here. Looks like we're having some trouble with this guy um, at the back. I want to push through the uh, the center. Now let's try to get this one. do that deactivate my shield if I can actually wait why is it not working there we go yeah you know what this build is a lot stronger than the other build I think the uh, the last stand kind of helps nuclear amp as well because you need that extra damage being that you only have like two heavy weapons i think it helps a lot let me just uh, empty my uh, clip here this guy's gonna land in front of us we should be able to get him down to his last stand there we go last stand triggered let's do that let's do that I'm going to deactivate my uh, shield. It's charge up. Man, this guy is taking me a while to deal with him. You know what makes uh, this build kind of confusing with the paladin? Sometimes you don't know when your shield is up. Like when you're actually using your paladin shield or your your bulwark okay so i need to deactivate this we need to get our shield back up okay so it's regenerating right now we have 90 percent on the mothership this guy's taking forever to die here i'm gonna activate my mothership there we go Yeah, this build's definitely a lot stronger than the other one. Redeemers, you'd be surprised. Yeah, he's gonna go in a flight. I'm gonna activate my shield here. Although, he does have shield breaker. Let's just do that. Activate the other shield. Oh, jeez. Man, I have so many uh, Aegis shields here. I don't know which one I'm I'm alternating. I need a heal bad. I need a heal bad. Heal. Nice. Let's take out this guy. There we go. Trying to help with this luchador. Just use the heal. You know what's also great about this build? Being that redeemers charge up your mothership so quickly. If you're using paladin, you can keep on regaining some of that uh, great damage. So I'm going to use this guy to basically recover my great damage. Well, if I can. Man, this game's actually been great. We've been running with this <laughs> the entire game. They keep hitting me with, like, orbital strikes, though. I have to stop this guy here. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna get it. Or if he gets it, he's gonna end up dying. Yep. Let's just regenerate that. He might drop in over here, right? Or actually, wait, this is domination mode, I think. Or maybe not. I can't remember. I've, I've been kind of alternating between the two modes. Sometimes when I struggle to get footage in, like, Beacon Rush, I will switch to, like, domination. Okay, let's get this beacon. Let's use the uh, Paladin once again. I'm just uh, reloading here. Let's get this beacon. Uh, 
I should be able to get this, um, what is that, a siren? Let's move this way. Yeah, I think the game's going to be over. And that is game. So the entire game in the bulwark. Man, this is very different from the first game. <laughs> the first game, the bulwark died so fast. Um, but I'll show you the changes I made. So only 3.7 uh, million. But keep in mind too, we are using only two redeemers here. Uh, so this is how we did. Okay, so what changes did I make for the second build? We've got redeemers on this one. Uh, nuclear amplifier, fortifier, last stand. And also physical shield expert, energy shield expert, crazy electrician in terms of the pilot skills. And uh, that's pretty much it. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you think of this build. Uh, is anyone running a similar build? Let me know as well. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And uh, also, uh, one more thing. If you guys are running another older bot, which you find uh, you know is working, especially in Champion League, let me know in the comment section down below. And it might get featured in the next episode of Old Robot Reborn. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.